and up goes the invasion flag. An ever dreadful sight. And they're off to capture Tampa. One of Tampa's enduring legends is the infamous pirate Jose Gaspar. His supposed attack on Tampa has been celebrated each year for over a hundred years with the tradition of the Gasparilla Pirate Festival. Buccaneer Conquest. What happens, what could happen when a modern American city is invaded and captured by pirates? Tampa is unique in that moored along our waterfront is a fully rigged pirate ship, the Jose Gasparilla II. And that's representative of our Gasparilla celebration, which we have every year. It's, a, it's kind of a, based on Mardi Gras a bit, but also based on the life of this pirate named Jose Gaspar. And there's no evidence that Jose Gaspar actually existed. There's been a lot of research trying to find Jose Gaspar. But in 1904, the kernels of that legend were greatly enhanced by a man named George Hardy and a woman named Louise Dodge. And together they helped form Emu's the crew of Gasparilla and create the Gasparilla celebration. And Hardy in particular uh, really explored and, and, and fostered the legend of Jose Gaspar, added actually the name Jose to Gaspar. Tampa does furnish a gracious setting for an invasion. And from that little kernel in 1904, you now have what is, I believe, the third largest parade in the country every year after Mardi Gras and after the Rose Bowl parade. And it's just this kind of month-long celebration. So it's really become uh, really integral to Tampa's history and its modern-day tourism. 